Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Alright, so I hope you're ready for another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be dealing with flourishes on how you can create your own uh, just using a couple simple tools that are in Inkscape. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is sort of what we're going to be creating, of course. Uh, there's going to be no fl two flourishes exactly alike. So uh, so let's go ahead and get creating. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this here. All right, so the first thing that, uh, you're going to need to do is uh, use this tool right here called the Bezier tool. And uh, I'm going to select that. And then up here in the mode, you're going to select this one right here that's uh, called the Spiro or Spyro path. I'm not sure on the correct pronunciation on it. But uh, anyways, it looks like a nice little French curve. So uh, that, that's the tool we're going to use. And what it's going to do is it's going to smooth out our Bezier tool when we do our clicks. So it's going to look ugly when I'm clicking. So I'm going to forewarn you. So I'm just uh, clicked right here. And then I'm going to click and hold, you know, just to draw a nice little... Uh, draw a nice little curve and as I said before it's gonna look ugly but uh, in the end Spiro is gonna do its job and make it look a lot nicer so I'm just clicking and dragging here and then once I'm done I'm gonna right click which will uh, tell Inkscape that I'm done and as you can see that ugly curve turned it into a nice little Spiro spiral Spiro Spiro who knows but anyways uh, that, that gave us our nice little uh, first floor, you know. So, all right, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a circle here. So I, I select the circle right here, and I'm just going to uh, click and drag. I'm going to hold the control button down so that makes it a, a nice circle. I'm going to make it small because I'm going to pretend this is my brush stroke. In order to create a nice little brush stroke that has like a tail at the end, uh, we're going to have to convert this to a path first. So we're going to go path, object to path, and then we're going to select our node tool right here. And uh, as you can see, that uh, four, four little nodes popped up. I'm just going to click on this one right here, and I'm going to hold the control button down and give us a nice little paint brush stroke. Uh, as you can see, that makes it, makes it nice. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step. I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to copy that so it's on our clipboard. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this arrow here, select uh, our spiral, and then I'm going to go to Path. I'm going to go down here to Path Effect Editor, and uh, this box pops up right over here. So I'm going to drag this over here so we can see everything all in the same window. And uh, this drop-down menu, I'm going to go ahead and select Pattern Along a Path. I'm going to click the Add button. And that will bring up these features right here. Pattern Source. I want to uh, to select it from the clipboard, which is that little paintbrush that we, uh, we selected. And I'm just going to click that. And as you can see, uh, it, it made our nice little uh, spiral, little flourish right there. Now if it's too thick, which uh, I, I think it is, I'm going to go right here and just play with the width. I'm going to take it down to 0 0.5, half of its value, and see what it did. Alright, that worked out nicely. Alright, so I'm going to slide this box back over, and then you can go ahead and draw uh, your next flourish. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here, select the Bezier tool again, and uh, just make some curves. Um, as you can as you can see, it's probably going to be another sloppy one, but who knows what uh, Spiro will do for us? All right, all right. So that uh, <laughs> that looks like a looks like a good one, I guess. And we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to add uh, and uh, go ahead and use the clipboard. Change our width down to uh, we'll, we'll do point four this time. See what that uh, see what that gives us, and we can change this color here. I'm going to change it to to red just so we can see what's going on. All right, and then you can just slide it up to where you wish. You can even use these tools up here and flip flop them. You know, you can change the direction that way, or uh, you know, change it up and down, and you know, maybe maybe it would look nice. Oh, we'll say right there looks good all right I'm gonna zoom out here all right 
So we're done with this uh, this paintbrush right here. So I'm going to get rid of that. And now um, I'm going to do sort of like a like a trick here because I'll, I'll show you what it will look like if we don't do this. So I'm going to select these two right here and go like that. And then I'm going to go to uh, Edit, Make Bitmap Copy. All right, so what that did for us, it actually took a picture of those two spirals together and just made it a bitmap. And as you can see, I have... Uh, our original spirals and stuff and over here I have the photo of it and what we're going to do with this photo is we're going to trace trace that so we're just going to go to path trace bitmap and uh, we're going to hit update and hit OK and that that will give us our path uh, union of those and I'm going to show you why we cannot uh, cannot union these two spirals. So let's go ahead and take a look, look at why. I have a do document over here uh, that has the, the same same two uh, spirals and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight highlight these two and I'm gonna hit path union and you're gonna see what happens. So let's go to path union and as you can see it becomes all jumbled. So the way that I showed you using that now copy to bitmap uh, should should work for you. So, so with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDude.com, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.